it shows it to me as well. Okay, and, and of course, I'm going to record this for SET students to watch this again. As I said, there's going to be homework at the end of the class, so um, I'll tell you more about that as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so this is reading. We're going to look at part A today, and I've just explained to these guys that there's going to be two connected sessions today. So there's, there's today where we're going to basically uh, have an overview of the technique and look at step one of the technique. And then tomorrow we're going to do a full mock test. Um, first thing, though, is just to make sure that everyone can see everything. Guys, can you all say hello? And do you hello. see the screen? Can see. Hello. Thank hello. you. Thank you, Norica. Hello. 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 So this is what, this is what Hello. we're trying to do. Hello, guys. Okay, so this is what we're trying to do today. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the format, just in case anyone is not quite sure about the test. How many questions are there? How much time do you have? All those things. Uh, then we're going to have a quick overview um, of the basic technique that is recommended by OET. Here, guys, if you want to have tell me any, you can add in your ideas as well. Or we've got a few people in class who did the exam recent, recently. Then we're going to look at step one. OK, and I will do I'll give you more specific examples of step one. As I said at the start, there will be some homework uh, for this session and it will be to analyze four texts. OK, someone's just coming in. So this is what we're trying to do today. Um, so format, is there anyone in the class who, who does not, who's just beginning with OET and has never really done the test before? Is there anyone here? Yes, it's my first time. Ah, yeah. Aisha. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Aisha, I'm just going to very, very quickly show you. This very simple, really. Um, it's not easy, <laughs> but it's simple to show you, okay? Yes, it's my first time. Okay, fantastic. So, so guys, let me just go through this then. We'll do this together, guys. Okay, so how many questions are there in this part of the exam? Everyone? 20. 20. 20 questions. Okay. Uh, it's not 24. That's the listening. In the reading, it's only 20. Thank, thank God, right? Because 24 in 15 minutes would be, would be an absolute, almost probably impossible, right? Um, so there's 20 questions. And, of course, you should all know this. How much time? 15. 15, 15 minutes. Okay. And if anyone's new, right, what, it, what the exam, you, you get four texts like this. OK, so you have four of these. And the exam is, is where you have to find information inside these texts. OK, so you get four texts like this. Small, small, short texts. There's 20 questions. What type of questions do we have? Alina, could you put your microphone on? Or Mona, Virginia? There's yes, actually three yeah. types, isn't there, of questions? Question yes. types. Answer the questions, filling the gaps. Yeah, well, so answer the question. So it would be short answer, right? Short answer. Short answer yeah. Guys, three or four words max. Yeah, short answer. From the text, from the from the text. What else? Fill in filling the, the gaps. Fill in the gaps. And matching matching the text with the yeah. Yeah, a, matching, B, C, D. yeah, matching A, B, C, D, right? So this is, what are they testing us on? Microphones off, please. Can I ask E1? What, what are OET trying to test us on? What type of reading is being tested here? Our ability to find the, like, uh, the... Our ability, I like that, to find information. I'll help you, E1. Information. Quickly or slowly? Quickly. Quickly. It's like a speed reading. Yeah. Okay? So if you're new to OET, you've got four texts like this, and you've got 20 questions, and you need to basically find information. The information is always in the text somewhere. For example, here, right? You, you never, guys, we, the words must come from the text. You can't guess the answers. Very important. All right. So 20 questions, 15 minutes, three question types. Um, you've got four texts you're looking in and they're testing your ability to find information quickly. What we call this usually is reading for detail. OK, just like yesterday. Remember, yesterday was listening for detail. This would be reading for detail. OK, now what type of text will we see? Bianca, 
Um, Armel, there's four texts. What type of text will we see? Magazine articles? No. No, no. About maybe a condition or medication. So there's, or, sh there's or short yeah. text about management, yeah, yeah. conditions, management. Yes, symptoms, symptoms, diagnosis, diagnosis. Symptoms, yeah, symptoms, diagnosis. They're all practical texts, guys. It could be guidelines, exactly. But they're practical texts. Uh, what does practical mean? Can anyone in this class tell me what that means, practical? Everything that we use in job place. Yeah, exactly. You use them in the job place. Um, so it could even be like instructions, I suppose. Yeah, instruction descriptions. Okay. okay. So this is the basics. This is the basics. Uh, they're testing your ability to find information quickly. They're all practical texts. They're, they're short texts. There's only four. You get three question types like this, 15 minutes. So this is the format of the test. Does anyone have any questions about the format before we move on to something more specific? Anyone? worried about something or unsure about something. We have a lot of experienced students in this class. Probably they can give you good advice better than me. All right. Okay. So we've got nothing. So let's move on then and talk about, you know, how do you do this test? 15 minutes, 20 questions. What does that tell us? There's a big problem here, isn't there? If you're new to OET, look at this. There's less, there's less minutes, isn't there, than questions. So at the start of class, you will notice that Bianca and Nana, they were saying how stressful this part of the exam is, because really it is a time critical part of the exam. And for example, I don't know if he's here today. Anil, are you here today? We have a student called Anil, right? He's really, really good. He's really, really good. And whenever I practice with him, he finds the answer like that. But he still does not like reading A because of the timing. Even though he can find answers and he, he's happy doing it, he doesn't always do well in the exam because he, he gets stressed, I think. All right. So bear that in mind, guys. Let's think about technique. It's really important to have good technique because if you don't do this, you will waste time. We don't want to waste time because we don't have a lot of time in this, in this test. So can everyone see this here? Can you all see this? Yes. Yes. So yes, I'm going to talk about, I'm going to do a quick overview of this. And if you're new, if you're new to OET, look, here are the texts. You can see them here, four texts. And here are the questions, some example questions. All right. Now, guys, I'm going to ask you a lot of questions at this point. So please, if you hear your name, just put your microphone on and say hello. Give me the answer if you know. So Hatice, could you say hello? Hello. So Hatice, um, how many steps are in the technique that I always teach? How many steps um, are there? First, uh, first step is... Um, well, how many steps? Uh, <laughs> I didn't remember. <laughs> can anyone help her? It's okay. It's okay. That's what I want, because then I can just remind... Guys, it's very simple. There's two steps, right, everyone? Yes. So, yeah. Hatif, it sounds like you know what step one is, though. What is step one? Analyzing um, the tests. Yes, analyzing tests. Analyze the texts. Okay. Um, and then what's step two, guys? Uh, uh, selecting the categorization. Well, answer the question yeah, by, by selecting. Yeah, but, but you can you select the, the answer. You answer the question. Yes. Um, this might sound very simple, but some people, you know, they, they go straight away to the questions. You cannot go straight to the questions. You've got to spend a little bit of time analyzing the text. What are we trying to do when we analyze? Ewan, could you say hello or Afra? We are trying to differentiate. Yeah. yeah, we're trying to differ. So what does that mean, guys? Differentiate. I'm showing you now. What does it mean? Differentiate. Divide it. Separate. Separate. Right. We're trying to separate. You see, I am separating them now. Right. I am separating. Why are we trying to separate them? Anyone? To understand all of them understand. the same. Topic. Make it easy and fast to catch the answer it's faster right so we're looking for the differences does that make sense everyone this is it might sound very simple this point but you're looking for what is different about each text if something is the same is that 
good for me? Is that good no. analysis? No. It's actually really bad because now I have to read two texts to find the answer. What we're looking for is distinctions. So, for example, guys, this one might be about management, right? But this one might be about uh, medication. And this one might, can give me, give me some examples, guys. This one might be about symptoms, right? And this one might be about prevention, diet, prevention. Yeah, okay. So we call this the main idea, this kind of thing. This is the main idea, right? And it's the most important way to differentiate the texts, getting the main idea. It, however, it's not the only way to do it. And I'll talk more about that in a minute. There's other ways you can separate the text in your mind. But let's look at step two quickly. Could I speak to Sibel? Are you there, Sibel, or Hera? Yes. So if we look yes. at the questions here, right? Yeah. How do I how, look at number seven? It, I know it's very small. It doesn't matter, right? It's just an example. How do I get the answer? What do I do in step two? First of all, we will choose the unique keyword. Yeah, so I'm going to choose a keyword. Keywords. For example, maybe I choose here, this one, right? That's a keyword. What does keyword mean, guys? Like special number? and unique word. Special, yeah. It's like a special, unique, unique word, word, right? That, of that you, standing words. Yeah, it stands out maybe. You choose a keyword, okay? You're also going to choose a category, but I'll talk about that tomorrow. All right. You also choose something called the category. Um, and then when you've when you've got your keyword, what do we do, guys? What do we do? Find the text. Try to find the main text. Well, we go, we, we, we think about our analysis, right? We, anal we analyze the text and we choose the text. Go on, go on. Yeah, the text that we will scan inside. What does scan mean, guys? Uh -huh. Quick review. Yeah, quickly review. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, here I choose my keyword. I already analyze the texts. So I say to myself, okay, probably this question. Microphone's off, please, guys. Microphone's off if that's okay, guys. You can hear a bit of noise. It's a bit annoying. Put your microphone off if that's all right. So I'll start again, guys. Choose your keyword. Here's my keyword. Um, and now I'm going to choose the text. So I'm going to say to myself, okay, this looks like it's a question about symptoms. So I will go to the symptoms text, okay? Then what do we do? What do we do? We scan for, for that Seven word. Words. That word. Yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, right. Let's say I find the word. I find the word, or it could be a synonym of, of that word. What is, Hussein, what is a synonym? The same meaning. So, for example, guys, give me a synonym for need. Does anyone know a synonym need for require. need? Yeah, require. Right? So I find a word, um, I find a synonym, and then does that give me the answer? Do I have the answer? No. No. No, no it tells me the answer area. In this area. Right? So if I find the word here, then I can say to myself, okay, the answer is somewhere here. Okay. And tomorrow I'll talk more about this because there's other things you can do. Scanning is really important. We'll talk about scanning tomorrow, right? Scan, reading quickly, finding a word quickly. Very, very important. But this is step two, all right? So technique overview. The idea is you start off, you analyze the texts, okay? You're trying to differentiate them. Then you move to step two. You're answering the questions. You find a keyword. You scan for that keyword in the text, should be only one text really, maybe two, maybe two, but no more than two, okay? Now, today we're focusing on step one only. So I want to ask you guys more questions about step one. How much time should we spend on step one? Super, could you say hello, or Eli, Saurab? We should spend around two minutes. Stop. Two minutes in total, I agree. Two minutes in total, so approximately, guys, 30 seconds on each. On each. Appro what does approximately mean, guys? I mean, less than 30 maximum. seconds or lo more than 30 seconds? Yeah, maximum. Maybe you around. Can, maybe you can, around, exactly. Maybe you can do less. Sometimes it takes me 20 seconds. Sometimes it takes me 40 seconds. Right, But in general, two minutes maximum, 30 seconds for each text. Does that make sense, everyone? 
Yes. Yeah. Those are your timings. Now, your timings are very, very crucial here. Because if I spend two minutes reading the text, how much time do I have left? What's the remaining time now? 13 minutes. Now, give me 13 minutes to do 20 questions. Okay, so how much time does that give me? Per, per question. Time per question. Uh, about 40, 40 seconds. seconds. It's about 45 seconds per question. <laughs> now, actually, you can do the first seven much faster, right? Questions one to seven are easier. So it will not take you 45. It should not take you 45 seconds. OK, but again, I'll talk about all of this tomorrow in more detail. All right. Today, we're just focusing on analyzing the text. Does anyone have any questions so far about this? So one of my friends said, uh, start um, on uh, so number seven question, then it is easier to do uh, quickly. Is yeah. that works? Well, many students say that to me, Supa. Um, yeah. It's not the recommended OET technique. So I cannot say that. When, when I was doing my training, that they did not recommend that. But I understand why some students like to do the final ones at the end. For me, it's not necessary. If you do good analysis here, the first seven will be very quick. Okay. Okay. You, you can do that if you want. Guys, what she's talking about is doing the first seven questions at the end. Uh, Bianca and Nana, how do you feel about doing the first seven questions at the end? <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, last time, uh, it's all what I wanted to say. Um, last time when I did the exam, mm -hmm. the topic, each text, had different topics so one text had um poison uh, another text had like uh burn and oh. next so it wasn't one oh, interesting, interesting. and treatment uh you know what i mean treatment um uh, management it wasn't each yeah, topic was all... totally different totally okay. different didn't connect to each other no no what uh, no different, difference is good though right i mean different i don't know way. it was hard it okay. was hard but do you what do you think about bianca as well what do you think about doing back, just seven questions at the end of the test rather than the start bianca, I think, what's your, um, or nana as well i prefer to on, do at yeah. the beginning because maybe at the end i don't have time and i Absolutely. can lose yeah. the seven uh, easy Points. question you know yeah yeah so look it, it will give you idea for uh, the next uh, on. the next ones exactly yeah it helps i think yeah it helps you to get the more difficult ones now look I, a lot of students like to do it that way everyone's different aren't they so i don't want to say 100 percent don't do that but for me that is not my advice okay um so that's the answer to that question very good question now guys let's talk more about step one that's what we're studying today okay so I'm going to put a little arrow here. We're focusing on step one. And what I want to do is talk about analyzing the texts. OK, there are three ways to do this. Um, let's test someone who maybe doesn't know. Jelena, can you say hello? Or Stefania, could you say hello? Uh, yeah. Hello. What, are, what are the three ways to, to analyze texts, to, to separate them? You know what I mean? Well, you look for a main idea. An idea. And this is the best one. OK, this is the best one. What else, though? Let's say, what if what if they have the same main idea, this one and this one, both management? What else can, can we do? For repetitive words. Uh, well, that would be a way to get the main idea. But is there another way to differentiate the text? Guys, can we help? Can we help function. 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 function is a good one. And um, what else? Keywords. 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 Okay. Now, I'm not going to focus on function today. There, there are videos in the video course. You can look at um, function if you want to look at this one. It's a bit more tricky, but actually, sometimes it's very easy function. But I'm not going to look at this today. Okay. Not today. Today, we're just going to focus on these two because do you agree with me, guys? These are the ones where it's the best. Don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Function is useful sometimes when you get like uh, classification or you get like uh, guidelines. You know what I mean? You can you can differentiate. But here we're going to focus just on main idea and keywords. So let's focus on let's start with main idea. All right. We'll start with that one first. 
Eli, could you put your microphone on, please? If he's available, or Amna, if we could have Amna, or there's a few interesting people here. Dorothy? Yes, I am. All right, so how do I get the main idea? How many ways are there to get the main idea? How many, how can I do this? How just many ways? Get a quick, quick read. Yeah, just read it quickly. More specifically okay. though. We're right? looking at the headings, if they have some headings. Does some anyone know, if you've seen my videos before, does anyone know, really there's only how many ways in total, probably. I can't Four. Think yeah, right. I would say there are four ways. Maybe there's five. I don't know, but I can't think of any other way than these four. And you guys should try all of them. OK, so I'm going to teach them now. And I'm going to teach you guys by showing you a very simple example. Some of you might have seen this before. So please don't give the answers. All right. So this is a simple example. How many texts do we have here, guys? Four. Four. Four, four, right? And we're going to get the main idea now, all right? And it's going to be very, very easy. But in each example, we're going to get the main idea in a different way, right? Of ways to get main idea. So, for example, if I ask Rabia, could you say hello, Rabia? Hello. Main idea here is, it's very easy. What is it? Okay. What's the main idea of this text? Why I like cheese. Yeah, and how did you get the main idea? <laughs> how did you do that? It's title. It's the title, right? So mm. guys, the, the easiest way to get the main idea is through the title, or sometimes we call this the subtitle, right? It's the same, same thing. Is this clear for everyone? Do, do we get this in OET? Will we get subtitles in OET? Yes, no, maybe. Yeah. Of course, look, here, uh, is there one here? No, no, no. no. There's not one here. What about? Uh, I'll show you the. Is there subtitle? Yes, yes, yes. Clinical yes. symptoms, malaria. So, how many main ideas are there here now? Two, two, two. 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 two main ideas, right? So, the subtitles—they are your best friend. They're really useful, and you do see them in the exam. Okay, so focus on those. Mm. What about this one though? Hussein, could you say hello? Or actually, Hussein, I've asked you before, so I'm going to ask someone else. Um, how about? Um, Hira or Usha or Mike, one of you guys. Yes. Could you yes. say hello, Mike or Hira? So Hira, what's hello. the main idea of this? You should be able to see it already. Yeah, um, I, it is about games. Okay, that that go, go, is the main go, go, idea in a way. But can you be more specific than that? Yeah, to say, oops. Ah. Can we be more specific? It, games? What? It's which football game? Match, Manchester football United. match. Manchester United. Manchester United. Manchester United. So the answer here is Manchester United. Okay. So yeah. here, here, can you come back, Hira? Yes. In this, in this one, the main idea is let's say cheese. Why I like cheese. cheese. Why I like cheese. And we got the main idea in this one through the title. How do we get the main idea in this in this one here? How do I get? It's repetitive words repetitive. all over the text. Yeah, it's easy, right? We're, we're, we're getting repetitive words. So we see Manchester United, United many Manchester. times. Does everyone see that here? Yes. Yeah. Right? So I'm just trying to give you a simple example. So I've got Manchester United here. How many times do we have Manchester United? Three, two, three. Two. Four. There's actually, this is a like abbreviation, yeah. And we also have Manchester in here, yeah. Good. Four. So it's repeated. How do we get the main idea? Repeated. Repeated towards. Okay, so let me put this here. How? Oops, size is a problem here. How? Repeated words. Okay, microphones off, please, guys. This microphones off. This one is not repeated words. So don't look for repeated words here. Can I ask um, maybe Demir? Could you put your microphone on Demir or Aisha? No. Um, hello, who's that? Mike, you can, you can come in Mike if you want because you did your last time. Um, okay. Yeah, so Mike, what's the main idea of this? Uh, it's crumbling egg. Yes, almost. Can we be a, a little bit more, a little bit more? Um, how to do this crumbling egg, is it? Scrambled eggs. 
Guys, can we help him? It is scrambled eggs, he's right, but a little bit more. It's like how to, to make scrambled eggs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Culinary expertise. Now, that would be the function, right? The function actually here is how to do it. We're looking at the numbers. So here's the number. We don't need to focus on numbers just yet, guys. Okay. But in terms of getting the main idea, Mike, how did you get the main idea here? I bet you did this, didn't you? Mike, put your microphone on. First sentence. Yeah, discussing a lot of, yeah. It's the first line, isn't it? Guys, the do first we... line, yeah. Discussing how to make the good scrambling idea. First line. Okay. So, guys, look, I'm showing you three very easy ways to get the main idea. Okay. Heading is the best way. But what happens if you don't have a heading like this? Here, there is no heading. Well, you should look for repeated words. Okay. You, or you should look for the first, read the first line of the paragraph. If there's two paragraphs, how many first lines are there? Of course, there are two. Right? So read the first line of each para, guys. Okay, what about this last one? Uh, Dr. Safi, could you say hello? Or Hamza? If we could have Ezgi, one of you guys. Hello. Hello. What's the main, what's the main idea here? Condition. Uh, just, just, just those people uh, condition about the condition. Hamza. So, okay. Symptoms. Symptoms it's about symptoms. symptoms, right? It's symptoms. Okay. Now, this is this is the one. This one's more difficult, isn't it, guys? This one is actually more difficult because there are no repeated words. There is no heading, right? There is no, the first line, uh, maybe the first line can help you actually here, but I'm just trying to give you an example of something else, another way of finding the main idea. How can we find the main idea here? Theometric words. Yeah, this is what I call, the, I mean, I suppose you can get it from the first line, can't you, as well? Let, let's say I remove this, it's gone. We can still get the main idea from yeah, so thematic cool. words. This is what I call thematic words. What is thematic words? Who said who said that? Who said thematic words before? One mm -hmm. of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Afra, so explain this because not everyone will be aware of thematic words. What is that? Uh, that means same group of things. So like, sore throat. Uh, so runny nose, headache. Runny nose. Mm -hmm. These are all different words, though. It's not the same word. Uh, it is the same group of things, yeah. symptoms. This is what we call a theme. It's the same. Like it's umbrella words. If you might yeah. think it's like umbrella words. And you, you might think, oh, this is very difficult, Alan. I can never do that. It's very easy, actually. Look, cat, dog, fish. What's the theme? Animals. 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 Okay. Animals. Red, we can beef, rice, chicken, hamburger, pizza. Food. Oh, food. Okay. What about this? Um, diabetes, cancer, hypertension. Diseases. 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 Conditions. Conditions. Yeah. Okay. So you can get the main idea in this way as well. All right. It is possible. Is this clear for you guys? There are four yes. ways. And these yes. are the four ways. Okay. Fantastic. Now, I want to make a, a key point, though. If this is clear, there's a very important point. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's have an example here. So the key point is this, how many main ideas will there be in one text? One. One or more than one. one. How many is possible? Three to one, four. One. Three. Could be three, four, four, right? Three, four. But remember, for your exam, you don't have a lot of time. You can't get every single main idea, right? Mm. So you want to get like two, maybe maybe three, but probably two, one or two. Okay. So in this case, let's have a look at this example. Um, we have something very easy, a very easy main idea here. What's the main idea of this, guys? Symptoms. Yeah, and, and how did we get the main idea here? How did we do that? We got the main idea from the um, thematic words. Thematic words. Thematic. Okay. So that was easy. Okay. So we got. Um, is there any other main ideas, though, guys? Tetanus. First line. I suppose First we can line. say tetanus here. Right? I'm just going to keep it simple today. We have. Let, let's put these two together. 
and we can say this is about what is this guy's tetanus, tetanus. Right? tetanus. And you could even put in the function as well. Guys. Does anyone know the function? Repeat to us. What's the function, guys? It's a definition, okay? But let, let's say I write down something like um, tetanus definition of causes, right? Okay, so I've got my two main ideas, all right? But is there any more main ideas? What about this? Complications. Repetitions. Is, is this complications? Here, this one, okay, so let's say this is complication. What about this one? The diagnosis, uh, diagnosis test. Okay. test. So do we have time? To, do we have time to think about four? No. Main no, ideas? no. Okay, so what should we do? What you should do is keywords. Focus your keywords. And I'll explain what this is in a minute, but your keywords on areas with no clear main idea. Does that make sense, guys? So I'm gonna focus my keywords here. Do you understand what I'm saying? A lot of you, right? So it's gonna be like, I'm gonna clean up the rest of the text with keywords. I'm not gonna waste my, well, not waste, but I'm, I don't have time to think about the main idea here. And it's not clear anyway. Right. So instead, I'm going to focus keywords. Does that make sense, guys? Keywords here. That doesn't mean you can't do them, them here as well. Nana, for example, Bianca, you can do some keywords here if you want, but we can focus them here to just get some extra. Right. What is a keyword? We haven't we haven't talked about this, have we? What is a key? Can anyone tell me what is a keyword? Word in a keyword, is it the main idea? What's the difference between a keyword and the main idea? Come on, what is it? Main idea, main idea is talking about all the paragraph, what I'm going to Yeah, I'm trying to get everything, the main idea of everything here, right? But keywords, I'm just going to, what am I doing here? Word, word, yeah. Just underlining. Right. So I'm going to underline here muscle spasms. I'm going to underline spatula, gag reflex. Is there anything else I should underline here? Maybe cardiac arrest. Right. So does that make sense, guys? Uh, that's what I want to ask. Sorry about it. Yes, go on, go that's on. what I want to ask. This is when we when we are uh, uh, in the exam. How I know this is a keyword, like this is important word, like maybe I will see oh, what is this special or something. It, exactly, like, exactly. Well, exa exactly my what point. Can I recognize that this is a keyword and, <laughs> and I will teach you. I'm going to teach you now. I'm going to teach you now. Okay, right, okay. right now I will teach you. But I just want to make sure that everyone gets gets this point because sometimes students they think, oh no, there's too many main ideas here. I don't have time for all of these main ideas. Right. Just focus on one, one or two main ideas, majority, get the main ideas. If you have some space like this with no main idea, don't worry, keywords, okay? So what are keywords, okay? Here you can see, I hope you appreciate my, <laughs> my picture here, all right? Keywords, what makes a good keyword? Let me ask someone like um, Mona or Virginia. Could you say hello? What makes a good keyword? So it's something that's unique or looks what could be important, how numbers uh, or something in brackets. Yeah, yeah, I agree, actually. Uh, just let's just review, though, Virginia, let's just quickly review this just in case anyone's I, I want to make sure everyone is clear on this. Right. Remember, we're in step one. Yeah. We're looking for main ideas, but also we're looking for keywords. All right. So that means underlining specific words here that helps me to differentiate the texts, okay? Now, Virginia is saying uh, something, what did you say, unique? Yeah. yeah, unique is different, you know, from all texts, something what could be. Yeah, to, to differentiate, right? To separate, but let's be more specific because in OET, it's always the same things. For example, guys, a good keyword would be 397, what is this? Numbers. Numbers. Why are numbers good keywords? 
Because it could be answer to the question. Yeah, and very often it is, isn't it? Like how much, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. When we say numbers, what do we mean, guys, by numbers? How many keys? It could be how... <laughs> Well, it could be it could be dosage, right? Percentage. Yeah. It could be. It could be a lot of numbers. It could be many. What else? What kind of numbers do you see? Time, in time, years. Number of times. So yeah. So length of time, and days, okay. months, right? Yeah. Um, number of tablets, right? Tablets, etc. Okay, is that clear for everyone? Yeah. Uh, you yes. see, yeah. When, you, when you see these numbers. That's a good keyword. Underline, always underline that. All right. What else makes a good keyword? Brackets. Yeah, brackets. brackets. What is brackets? Can anyone tell me? What does that mean, brackets? How extra information, you know? Yeah, that's what we put inside brackets. But does everyone here know what a bracket is? What is a bracket? It's these ones, right? Mm -hmm. These, we call these brackets. What is the function of a bracket? Can anyone tell me? Why do we use brackets? We just said extra that. information, what's really important. Extra information. So they might say, they might say, um, very often guys, they might say, this disease, um, they might say, I don't know, tetanus. And then they'll have a bracket, right? And it'll and it'll be the Latin name, right? Some sort of jargon name here. That's often very important. So anything inside brackets, what makes a good keyword? Numbers, anything inside brackets. What else, guys? Abbreviations. Sorry, abbreviations. Ah, yeah, give me an example of an abbreviation you might see in OET. Yeah. BP. Yeah, good. What else, guys? Any OT. abbreviations? OT, good. What else? ECG, ECG. Good. We'll see all these ones. AIDS, heart disease, NSAIDs, etc. etc. Good. What else, guys? So numbers, brackets. What else? Footnotes. Footnotes. Ah, who said glossary. that? Glossary. Glossary. Now, footnotes is not keyword, but it's a place to look for a footnote. Yeah. Right. So I'll, I'll put this here. Note. Jordan. If you see a footnote then focus keywords here. I'll talk about that tomorrow as well, okay? I'll talk about that tomorrow. What else it makes a good keyword though, guys? Numbers, anything inside brackets? Capital words. Capitals. Capitals, Capitals yes. Yeah, right? So it, they might say um, cold, right? Or anything like that, capitals. Blue. Or danger, right? Something like that, right? You're going to underline that. That's a good keyword. Anything mm -hmm. else? What else makes a good keyword, guys? There's one. There's at least one more makes a good keyword in step one. Does anyone name. Know? Name. Now you get you're Nouns. on the right track. Name of what? Jordan. Name of a person. Places. Person. Name of places. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Names of places. Things. Name of medicine. Yeah. Disease. Yeah, okay. Places. Disease. Medicines. Name. Yeah, person okay. name person okay that's good there's one more then there's one more anything else makes a good keyword uh, years years sometimes years. i would say that'll be that'll be numbers that would be yeah. numbers yeah there's one more thing what does this word mean guys jargon Jorgen. any jargon what does that mean there's some medical words yeah so give me an example can anyone give me an example of jargon yeah. Like hypertension or tetanus, it, that's also jargon. I know, but the thing is with hypertension, I know what that is, and I'm not a doctor. That's not jargon. What, what's, the, what's jargon, guys? Technical words. Can anyone give me an example? Parkinson. Cardiovascular would be a good one. What else, guys? Say something that I don't, I, I don't know. Anything muscular. Muscular. I'm not, I know what muscular is. It has to be okay. jar, like something very strange. Like, can anyone? Hepatitis. Say, oh, there you go, Rosga. I have no idea what that is. Hypothyroidism. Hepatitis. There we go. Hypothyroidism. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know what a thyroid is, but I don't know what hypothyroidism is, right? So, look, what makes a good keyword? Someone was asking us. The answer is this basically, these things here. I don't think there's any more. Can you? Can anyone here think of anything else that might be useful? 
Nothing. No. So capitals, abbreviations, names of places, medicines, any jargon. Um, okay, last point though. Very, very important point. How many keywords should we choose? How many? Four or five. Three or four. Five. Yeah, four no more five. than let's say, let's say no more, no more than four or five. Three or four, four or five. Don't go too crazy with this. What will happen if I choose too many keywords? What will happen? Think about it. I'm in the exam, right? And I, and I, and what if I, what if I decide? Okay, I've seen so many things here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three to four. Ten. Okay, I can't remember. You're confused. It's useless, isn't it? It doesn't help me, right? I want four or five things that I can remember that will separate the texts, right? Oh, in this one, they're talking about thyroidism, hyperthyroidism, but not here. That's differentiating, right? So no more than four or five. Is that, is that clear for you guys? Yes. All right. So I know this is kind of a bit of a slow class. Like we're not practicing, but we have to put all of this together. All right. And we're going to do that tomorrow. But I just want to test this now. Let's do a quick test. I want you guys to, to look at this again. And we're going to think about keywords, but I, but don't shout out, please. I just want specific people to tell me okay. what is a good keyword and tell me why. So we'll have a, Alina, if you put your microphone on, um, or we could have yes. Eli. So Alina, give me a keyword and tell me why is it a good keyword? I think uh, Lockjaw is a key. Yeah. It's a good and you just predicted one of the answers in this test. OK, so, yes, this is brackets, guys, isn't it? So she chose brackets. OK, what about um, Esgi? Could you put your microphone on? What else is a good keyword? So we could probably do two, couldn't we, Alina? Yeah. Yes. Okay. What else? Um, Esgi? Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Um... Yeah. Is there any jargon here? I see some jargon. Jargon, I can see. Um, uh, spatula, no. Well, like, I suppose that's that's more like equipment, isn't it? I was thinking this. What is that? So, so treat them, yeah, yeah. I have no idea what that is. That's jargon, right? So, mm -hmm. go on. It's yeah, also it's a name of bacteria. Yeah. yeah. So jargon, and also a name. Okay, so let's say we underline here lockjaw, we underline clostridium. Guys, what else can I underline here? Maybe spatula. Okay. Spatula test. Yeah. But remember, no more than maximum probably five. Probably three or four is good. Okay. All right, so does anyone have any questions about this? Let's go back to the main thing, because tomorrow what we're going to do tomorrow, I'm going to get, we're going to look at these texts. All right. There are four texts. It's a real mock test. And we're going to do hopefully we can do 20 questions in one class. I think we can do that. But is, is this clear what we're going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to spend time analyzing texts together and then we're going to answer them. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, okay, that's good. <laughs> Have I really been so clear? Okay, okay. Um, in that case, this is your homework, guys. Your homework will be to um, read these texts before the class, please. And if you have any questions about them, you can ask me. Maybe you can practice analyzing these texts yourself, right? How much time do we spend analyzing each text? Everyone, how much time? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. So if you want, before the class tomorrow, why not spend just two minutes reading the text, write down your analysis, and then come into class, and you can see if your analysis is the same as my analysis, okay? Because we will then do it together as a class, all right? Now, if you're new, did you guys know where, where you can get the homework? Does everyone know? I'm going to stop the...